So what is a malloc function? So malloc function is like this. So malloc function is used for dynamic memory allocations. Dynamic memory allocations. Okay. Now, for example, if uh, we write a program like this, main now this malloc function takes an integer number as an input argument. So if you see it like this, then it will be like malloc. And then this is going to take some integer number as an argument. Let us suppose that number is four, and then it is going to allocate four bytes of memory uh, into our into our memory uh, and for example these are the four bytes right and this memory will be continuous just like in case of arrays in case of arrays if you write int a10 that means there, there will be 10 continuous memory allocations so in the, in the same way in case of malloc there will be uh, four memory allocations four continuous memory allocations and then it is going to return the base address of that memory allocation so it is going to return the base address of those memory locations right so if it is returning the base address then we need some variables to store that base address then how to store that base address why because uh, why it is it is i'm saying it differently because if you say there's an integer pointer pointers are used to store the variable then if this is an integer pointer p then this integer pointer p is only going to store the address of an integer variable if i have a character pointer p then this character pointer p is only going to store the address of a character variable if i have a float pointer p then this float pointer p is only going to store the address of a floating point variable so if malloc function is returning an address and we want to store that address within an integer variable then we have to typecast that address to be of type integer okay so how to do a type casting to do a type casting we just have to write int star here like this right so in this way if i have an integer pointer p then i have int star p is equal to this then i'm type casting this memory locations uh, this address and to an integer address and then i'm storing the address to this variable p okay so we can write programs like this where we can have multiple variables i, I, I can write int star p is equal to int star malloc size of integer multiplied by 5 i can even do character star q is equal to character star malloc size of character multiplied by 5 i can even use float star x is equal to float star malloc size of float multiplied by 5 okay and you can view it as alternate way to declare an array so how am why i'm saying it is an alternate way of declaring an array so if you see this integer star p is equal to malloc size of int cross 5 so what it is going to do is it is going to return the size of function is going to return the size of an integer so let us suppose the size is 2 bytes so it is going to return 2 and then we are going to do 2 into 5 which is will be 10 bytes of memory uh, which is, which will be 10 and this malloc function is going to uh, allocate 10 bytes of memory and then it is going to return the address of 10 bytes of memory so how this memory is allocated this memory will be allocated something like this okay so this is the first two bytes the second two bytes the third two bytes the fourth and fifth two bytes and the address base address is let us suppose 1000 then this address will be stored in this pointer p okay so this is uh, the address of this first location will be 1000 this will be 1002 this will be 1004 this will be 1006 and this will be 1008 now if you see this diagram then you can see that this diagram is actually of uh, doing int p5 right that means this p is an array which is having five index location and this diagram is also the diagram of this uh, complete statement okay that means you can declare arrays using this malloc function 
Now, in case of arrays, you cannot not have uh, dynamic memory allocation, but in case of malloc function, you can have dynamic dynamic memory allocations. Okay. Now, how to do use this dynamic memory allocations? Let me just uh, show you by writing a program. Now, for example, uh, you're writing a program like this. And you need uh, dynamic memory allocations. If you have main, right, and you are having variables int x, and then you are doing scanf percentage d comma x. That means you are taking the value of x from the user, and then you are doing int d with this x. Okay, in this case, and then you are having multiple lines of code. In this case, what you are trying to do is you are trying to have a variable x, and then you are trying to take the value of this variable x from the user, and then uh, you are trying to allocate that much amount of memory into an array, right? For example, if the user want entered five, then you want to have an array with five index locations, right? But this is not allowed. This is not allowed in C language, right? Because this is doing. uh then you are trying to do a dynamic memory allocations but we, in case of arrays we can only declare the size of array when we are uh, writing this program we cannot declare the size of array uh, by taking the value from the user or by taking the value from some other different uh, function or some other different output right for example in some cases you may want to do try something like this main and you want to do uh, int x right and then you can have this value of x from some other operation so that operation can be a uh, 5 uh, divided by 6 or uh, you are performing some different operation into your program maybe uh, by, by taking seeing some other variable x and some other variable y and you want to do x divided by y and that result will be stored in x so that means you are taking the value from some other variables right and then you want to allocate that much amount of memory which is uh, taken by this which is defined by this x so that you can store that much amount of data within your program but this is also not allowed in your c language right so to do this you can use a malloc function right you can do main int x and you are then taking scanf percentage d comma x you are taking the value of x from the user and then you are doing int star d is equal to int star malloc size of integer okay multiplied by this value x right and then you can perform your own work okay so in this way you can have a variable you can take the value of x from the user and then you can allocate that much amount of memory and then you can store that amount of memory into this uh, pointer d okay so this is how you can declare a dynamic array dynamic array in the sense that uh, uh, it is a dynamic memory allocations okay you can even take write program like this main int x and then x is equal to 5 by 6 that is uh, you may have some result from some other equation maybe x is equal to a divided by b and this a and b will be some different variables and then you can do int star d is equal to int star malloc size of integer multiplied by x okay so you can also do something like this you can have multiple lines of code here right so here also i'm trying to do dynamic memory allocations okay now, now let me show you some of the different programs how can you take benefit of this dynamic memory allocations